This is a quick video on condensation polymerization. Remember polymerization is when you join together small units called monomers together to form a large molecule called a polymer and condensation means that in this process a small molecule is lost and it tends to be water. So the example I'm using today is nylon and it's quite complicated because you need to learn that there are two different monomers. The first monomer is hexane diacacid, the second monomer is called 1,6-diaminohexane and I'm going to show you how to draw both of those now. So hexane diacacid. Right, the hexane bit tells us here, so treat it like a normal alkane. This bit here, hexane, tells us that there are six carbons in a line. This bit here tells us that we're talking about an ethanoic, uh, sorry, we're talking about a carboxylic acid, which has a group of COOH. The fact that there's di means that there's two of those. So together we can form the exact um, displayed formula. So let's start with the simplest bit, which is hexane. So that's six carbons. Now, I just told you that the carboxylic acid group is COOH. That C has to be part of the long chain, so it's included in the hexane. So don't go adding another C. Just add the endings, which looks like this. And this is how carboxylic acid always looks. It's double bond O. And then fill in the remaining hydrogens and make sure that each carbon has four bonds. Cool, and that's the first monomer done. The second monomer is this beast called 1,6-diaminohexane, but we can break it down again. That bit there, again, hexane, meaning six carbons, so we're looking for a six-carbon alkane. The amino bit means that there's going to be an NH2 group. There's di there, which means there's going to be two NH2 groups, and this bit here tells us where those NH2 groups are going. They're going on the first and sixth carbon, so let's draw it. So six carbons in a row, and now we just need to add the NH2 group which looks like this. I remember that goes on the, oh sorry, the first and last carbon and then fill in the hydrogens. Gosh, what a flipping mess. Now I'm going to draw the simplified version of each and all that means is drawing a rectangular box to represent that central chunk of carbon hydrogen repeats. So that will look like this for hexane diac acid. We need the COO double bond thing here because that's the important bit, the diac bit. But then I'm just going to draw a box to represent the hexane bit and then double it up here. So there's one of my monomers done. And then for the second one, 1 6 diaminohexane, remember that's an NH2 on the first and last carbon. So that will look like that. Draw another rectangle to show that central chunk and then join it to the last NH2 group. This is when we actually do the condensation polymerization, and what that means is we're going to lose a water group, and that's going to come from here. And then simply join those bonds together to form one really large molecule, so that will be like this. Start here. Obviously draw it way neater than me, I always say this, but it's true. We tend to draw it this way around. Finish off the molecule, and voila! Obviously this reaction keeps happening at each end to join lots and lots of these very large molecules together and at that point you will have nylon. This topic honestly isn't as hard as it originally seems, it sounds and looks horrendous. Although weirdly I don't know if I've ever found a past exam question on it, so if you've ever found one let me know, that would be helpful. And yeah, good luck guys, um, I'll see you soon, bye!